This is the third video of the pharmaceutical drug analysis part 1.2 from the chapter 1. Purity. The standardization of pharmaceutical chemical and the dosage form prepared therefore plays a vital role so that the patient gets the drug within the permissible limits of potency and tolerance. The standard form of pharmaceutical chemicals and their respective dosage form as laid down in various official compendia fulfill broadly the following three uh, cardinal objective, namely broad based highest attainable standard, biological response versus chemical purity, and official standards versus manufacturing standards. First part, broad, best, highest attainable standards. Now we, this book wants to explain all these three parts. Broad, best, highest attainable standard. What is this? Keeping in view the various methods of manufacture of pharmaceutical substance vis-a-vis -vis its standards of purity, types of impurity and changing pattern of stability, a broad based highest attainable standards is always fixed. A few typical examples are stated below. For example, in these tables, wants to explain the series number from 1 to 15. For example, this is the name of substances from the aspirin, atropine, sulfate, um, Bendrofulazine, betamethasone, busulfane, caffeine, calcium, levulinate, uh, levul, carbamazepine, colorom, uh, coloramphenicol, dexamethasone, diethyltulamine, uh, etacrinic acid, ferrosulfate, fluofenazine, hydrochloride, hydrochloride, and grizofolvin. And in this um, column is explained the standards of purity. For aspirin, the standard purity is 99.5 to 100.5 percent. You see, but the, uh, for aspirin is 98.5 to 101.5, and this is a range. For grizofolvin is 97 point on until 102.5, and they have a different range. And these have a continuity for tyroxine uh, sodium, for example, 97 point uh, until 103. And these are calculated with respect to the dried substance, not with humidity, with to the dry substance. 1.21.2, biological response versus chemical purity. What does it mean? Tough chemical purity is the trumped purity, yet the biological response of a pharmaceutical substance holds an equal importance. Of chemical purity is Trump's superiority, yet the biological response of pharmaceutical substance holds an equal importance. A wide variation of active ingredients ranging between 90% in one sample and 110% plus minus 10% limits. In another sample could invariably be observed therefore it has become absolutely essential to lay down definite standards so as to ensure that different laboratories may produce reasonably reproducible products different difference in active ingredients in various lots may be minimized retention of acceptable level of potency and freedom of toxicity during a storage before use. Example, substance to be stored in well-closed high-resistance container, for example, 
آیزونیازید نالدیکسیک اسید ناندرولون فنیل پروپیونیت اند نیتروفرازون سیکنڈ اگزامپل سابستنسیز تو بی استورد اندر نیتروجن این تایتلی کلوز لایت ریزیستنس کانترنر از تمپریچر بیتوین تو اند تن دیگری سلسیوس فر اگزامپل ناندرولون دیکانوید نیستاتین متیل ارگوتامین ملعید هیومن نورمال ایمیونو گلوبولی ترد اگزامپل سابستنس تو بی استورد این تایتلی کلوز لایت ریزیستنس کانتینر این کول پلیس فر اگزامپل نیترو فرانتون پانکراتین اکسی اکسی فنونیوم برومایید اکسی فنونیوم برومایید فورس اگزامپل سابستنسیز تو بی استورد این تایتلی کلوز لایت ریزیستنس کانتینر این کول پلیس فور پرنترال ادمینیستریشن پرنترال The container should be as uh, container should be steel because they are in parenteral and sealed uh, as to be exclude microorganisms. For example, canamycin sulfate, canamycin sulfate, novo biosin sodium, benzyl penicillin, lincomycin hydrochloride, hydrochloride and chloramphenicol. Fifth example, substance is to be stored in well-closed container at a temperature not exceeding 30 degrees Celsius, for example, perocaine, penicillin, pepsin, menthol, and erythromycin. Okay, this is a biological response versus chemical purity. Part 1, 2, 3, official standards. Official standards with a with manufacturing standards. The official standards as a stipulated in the pharmacopoeia of various countries, for example, IPBP, British Pharmacopoeia, uh, European Pharmacopoeia, INT, P, USSRP. GP, Japanese pharmacopoeia, etc. Of a pharmaceutical substances take a cognizance of the purity, nature, methods, and hazards of a manufacturer, precaution of storage, and ultimately the condition under which the product is to be used. It is well known fact that a pharmaceutical substance can be prepared by adopting different routes of synthesis based upon the dynamic ongoing research in the field of organic reaction mechanism. Relentless, relentless efforts are exerted vigorously by, a repu by reputed research laboratories across the world to look for shorter routes uh, of can be, can be manufactured by two methods. One using a boromo compound as a starting material while the other is devoid of boromine reside in the final product. I think I miss one line here. Mm -hmm. I repeat it from here. <coughs> For instance, diclofenic sodium as NSAID can be manufactured by two methods. One using a boromo compound as a starting material, while the other is based of on a non-boromo compound. Nevertheless, the later product is more in demand because it is completely devoid of a boromine residue in the final product. During the process of manufacturing and on uh, on 
unavoidable critician is the loss of active ingredients. Therefore, therefore, all official standards for pharmaceutical chemicals and dosage form should accommodate such losses caused due to loss in manufacture, unavoidable decomposition and storage under normal condition for a stipulated period. Okay. It has become an, an unusual practice to include a definite overage in a certain dosage form so as far to compensate the noticeable losses caused either due to manufacturing or storage anticipated decomposition in order that the finished product may, comply, may, uh, may comply with the prescribed official standards after the stipulated duration of storage. Official standards with regard to dosage form and packs, preservation and prevention from contamination in a variety of pharmaceutical products such as eye drops, multi-dose injection, and antiseptic creams, external application that may be prone to a spoilage with prolonged repetitive usage should be well defined. The official standards in general legalize and control the presence of toxic impurities by prescribed limit test and also by more sophisticated analy analytical techniques using thin layer chromatography TLC, high performance thin uh, layer chromatography HPTLC, gas, li gas liquid chromatography GLC, and high performance liquid chromatography HPLC. Okay, for this next part i take in next video bye bye i say you goodbye with my honey pet